time to profile a successful graduate of Bristol Community College in our Alumni in Your Community segment. Hi, I'm Cheryl Blackburn. I'm a BCC graduate, class of 1982. I grew up in Fall River, um, down the south end of the city, um, a little street called Grinnell Street. Um, I grew up in a middle class family, my mother and my father and a, a younger sister, only by 14 months. My father was a police officer in the city of Fall River, and my grandfather was a police officer in the city of Fall River also. Um, I went to William S. Green School, a little community school. I ended up um, going to Henry Lord back in the day. Um, I also uh, ended up at um, Durfee High School. In Durfee High School, I actually took uh, secretarial science. And the reason I took secretarial science is I think I was almost pushed into it because back then uh, women should have been secretaries So in those kind of days. And I think our counselors, if you weren't an all-A student, kind of pushed you towards the secretarial science of being in a secretary. Once I graduated from Durfee High School, I actually applied to Bristol Community College. Um, I wanted to be a secretary. Um, back then, they had an uh, associate's degree in secretarial science, they called it back then. I applied. Um, I was accepted, but I was put on a waiting list. They had a lot of people applying. So in the meantime, I applied to Diamond Regional Vocational High School. They had a postgraduate school, um, and I got accepted there. And what happened is that uh, four weeks um, before school was to start at uh, Diamond, I did get a call from BCC. But I was already committed to Diamond, and I figured it kind of put a financial burden on my parents. So I decided to go to Diamond because because I was a city resident, it didn't cost anything to go to Diamond. So I ended up going to Diamond, and it was a great course. I mean, you know, they prepared us for uh, um, all kinds of things. So once I graduated from Diamond, I actually ended up with my first job at St. Anne's Hospital in the personnel department, and I worked there for about three years. Um, from there, I um, got married, had a baby, and um, stayed home as a homemaker um, for about uh, a year and a half. Unfortunately, after a year and a half, um, I ended up um, having a divorce and I ended up uh, getting on the welfare rolls, to tell you the truth, back then. There were a lot of opportunities that welfare back then gave us, and one of the opportunities was to go to school. And that's what I did. I actually applied to BCC, um, got grants. Um, my daughter was actually accepted at a um, daycare program that, you know, the BCC actually, uh, not BCC, that the welfare actually paid for back in those days. And I decided to go to school full time. Um, I knew I would have ended up getting a job if I didn't go to BCC because I was a good typist, but I just didn't want that minimum paid job. I wanted to get a degree. I wanted a degree behind me to get a little more for me and my daughter to, to make a better life for ourselves. Graduated from BCC. Um, I was at BCC, matter of fact, and my father, who was a police officer, uh, gave me a call and said there was a job posting at the courthouse. And I said, oh, I can't apply for that. That's um, civil service. And he goes, ah, oh, I don't think it's civil service. And I said, OK, I'm going to run down there. I'm going to go apply for it. And I did. I applied for it. And I um, uh, graduated and started like two weeks after I graduated here at, uh, at, uh, BC, at uh, the courthouse. I noticed there was a lot of opportunity here um, in the courthouse. There were a lot of positions available um, that you could move up in. And I felt that the reason you could move up in is, is there was a, they looked for people who put their good foot forward and were good workers. And there was a lot of potential to get a better job. I also understood that a lot of these jobs, you, had to, you needed a degree to get the jobs, OK? Um, not only did you need a degree, I just felt that by going back to BCC, because I wanted to go back to BCC for criminal justice. Again, I came here as a secretarial science person. I did not want to work at a desk being a secretary, per se. I wanted to be more, whether it would be a probation officer, um, a magistrate, um, something along that lines. In order to get those jobs, I mean, you needed a degree. Um, so I actually went back to BCC, um, enrolled in the criminal justice program, took uh, one to two classes a semester. I mean, that was it. I mean, that's all I could do. Again, I was a single mom, um, had to find babysits, babysitters in the evening. Um, fortunately, the juvenile court system, um, working for the state of Massachusetts, allowed you to go to community colleges, and they would pay for your tuition. Um, they wouldn't pay for your books or anything like that. But you know, even that back then, the books were expensive. But the big expense was the tuition, and all you had to do was you know get a waiver, and, and they would actually pay as long as it had to do with what you were working at. Mm -hmm. So what I was working at was in the criminal justice field, and that's why I wanted to go back into the criminal justice field. After um, completing my courses um, at Bristol Community College in criminal justice. Um, I was able to take all those courses that I in criminal justice from BCC and transfer them up to UMass. Um, when I got up to UMass, um, I was a little apprehensive. It was a big school. Um, I was a lot older. A lot of the kids were a lot younger than I was. Um, but it gave me an opportunity to um, 
to see that there was more out there. I mean, you come into the justice system and you think when you work here that there's only one side of the justice system. You don't see the other side, the person sitting on the, on the other side of that bench or the, uh, in that audience. And I got to see the, pers the perspective of the younger students as far as what they felt about justice and the justice system and you know, how it was being dispensed. And it gave me a different look as far as my job was concerned. Um, I did take one course, two courses. You know, I took a course in the summer. It took me a long time to get my degree. I ended up getting my degree in 2005. At the same time, my daughter was getting her uh, master's degree in 2005 in social work. Um, so we kind of had a party in our backyard together. I started right from the bottom. I was a procedure clerk one. I ended up coming over to the um, clerk magistrate's department because in the probation department I had a uh, job that might not have been funded for me at a year. It was like this temporary funding. So there was an opening that came up in the clerk's department and I um, you know, applied for it then. Um, again, I worked for a great man, Ron Arruda. He saw my potential. Um, he, he actually um, promoted me like three other times um, since then. I was um, administrative assistant at first, then I was a head procedure clerk. I was an assistant clerk magistrate. Um, and then when the first assistant clerk magistrate retired, um, I was offered the position by Mr. Arruda, the magistrate has the um, the power to appoint his first assistant magistrate out of the assistant magistrates and um, like I said I worked first as his secretary um, and, and got promoted all the all those years I got promoted as first assistant to clerk magistrate in 2002 so I started in 1982 here um, so it was you know it was an, it was a slow progression um, you know but I had a lot of interesting jobs um, while I was in all those fields I loved going down to the old campus. I mean, it was, it was uh, everybody knew each other, everybody's name. It was, you know, only a couple of secretarial science down there, and I think there was one other program that was down there. So we got to know the teachers. The, everyone knew you by your first name, even teachers you didn't take courses from. Um, so it was, it's, it was a small little quaint kind of, uh, it didn't have that college, big college atmosphere, so it wasn't so intimidating um, from somebody who was a little afraid, um, didn't know if they were going to make it, didn't want to fail. Um, and, you know, in, in BCC, I think, uh, really helped you. I mean, everybody was there from uh, guidance counselors. If you had a problem, you could go to anyone. And, you know, and, and it was a great community college. I mean, you didn't feel, you felt like you belonged. Um, I really did feel like I belonged at, at BCC.